On the front here, you can see a 3D rendering of the figure, some artwork in the back, and the Wakanda Forever logo down there. We got another rendering on the side with the Marvel Legends logo. Then here on the back, we have another rendering, but this has the alternate head sculpt with Riri Williams, and then all the accessories that this figure comes with. And then some awesome artwork here on this side. And on the top, just has the Black Panther logo. On the bottom, not much, just a barcode and the new plastic free packaging um, announcement type deal there. So now let's get this thing open and check it out. So this is the figure out of the packaging. Overall, this suit looks pretty cool. I really like the Riri Williams head sculpt. That looks really good. Figure's a little bit bulky, but it looks pretty cool for a Mark I for her. So she comes with quite a few accessories, which is obviously why you pay more for the figure. So first off, she comes with the Riri Williams head sculpt, which looks good. The masked or helmeted head sculpt, a set of blaster hands, a set of blast effects. These effects here, I'm not exactly sure what these are. They're supposed to wrap around the blast effect. It might be some kind of like nano stuff, I'm not sure. And then she has these little blaster dills on her arms. I had to take this one off, and she also comes with a set of fisted hands, but I had to take the, this fisted hand off and this blaster off on this side so I could put this other accessory that she has, this little blaster, on her hand because her arm sort of just sticks in there and her arm just sticks right in there like that. So that's why I had to remove that on this side. She also has this little, it's like a hose, plugs into the bottom here and then plugs into one of her jetpack tank dills, I guess you would say. <laughs> These jetpack dills, they do come off pop them off or pop them back in there these little deals just pop back in there and these come out as well these little blue fire or blaster effects but you can take those out as well so now we will take a closer look at the figure this Riri Williams head sculpt looks really good with the face cam technology in her hair and everything looks really cool underneath here on the neck we've got a little bit of the gold lines here if you can see that right underneath there here on the chest looks good i love the gold outlining in the shape of a heart for iron heart blue is supposed to be like a lighting effect from the suit we've got some more gold over here on the arms the red doesn't look bad i feel like in the movie it's going to be a little bit of a darker red so i feel like that's probably not quite accurate to the movie um sort of like the iron man mark 50 that they did they originally did it in this sort of color and then they did it in a darker more maroonish color later so i feel like they'll probably do that with this figure as well we'll look right here nice detailing inside there if you can see all those little lines and stuff in there look really cool the gold Looks good. We've got touches of silver right here. Take a look at this blaster here on the side. we got the little blue down here for the light. And then here on the side, we got some little gear type dills here. And we'll take a look at this other sort of blaster weapon on her arm here. It sort of looks like that um, dill that Ulysses Claw had on his arm. Just like a, this is just like a bigger version of it. I like the detailing down here. This has like a matte finish. Then on the knees, it looks cool too. I love how they incorporated sort of a mix between Iron Man and Wakanda designs. So it's really like customized to her. And some more cool designs down here. And we got these little dots here. So now we're checking out the back of the figure with her hair and everything. Looks really, really good. All the fine details in there. And then the back of these little like jetpack dills look okay. I feel like they could have added a little more detail to them. Um, you can see inside there. Looks pretty cool. We got a little bit of a black stripe. We've got the honeycomb sort of look inside there. If we go down here a little bit, there's some detail in here. Gears and things. They didn't do very many paint apps here on the back. But this part is cool. The little blasters, or like the thrusters, I guess you'd say. Looks cool. And then, especially with the blue fire or blast effects in there, looks really, really cool. That is that little hose that I was talking about sticks in there i guess it powers this thing it's a cool little added touch to it got a little bit of a silver here with all these little details with the matte black and the silver that looks pretty cool i like that 
for the jetpack deal sort of goes in a shape of a heart on the back and here's what the figure looks like with the mast head on there so you can see what the figure looks like with both head sculpts i'm going to give you a bit of a closer look at some of these accessories so this is the helmeted head sculpt looks really cool i love the blue and white effects that they put in the eyes really gives that that glow effect to the eyes and that gold strip right there looks cool the gold on the side here looks really good they have those little details on the head then we have the blast effects translucent i'm not exactly sure what these are maybe some like nano tech type stuff and they're supposed to wrap around those blast effects so blaster hand which is really cool you can see on the top there how it has the heart logo on the top a little bit of the red and the blast part on the bottom so now we will move on to the articulation portion of the video all right so for her head she can look down that far and up about that far which is pretty good rotation side to side a little bit so her arms are sort of stuck they don't really go up that far about like that bicep swivels double jointed elbows with pinless joints which is awesome so for the wrist her wrist go down about that far mm, up a little bit for her ab crunch she really can't crunch really very much at all forward oh sorry and then backwards a little bit but it's going to probably knock these off which i already did with one of them there isn't a waist cut sort of a thigh cut it sort of rotates right here leg goes forward that far back that far double jointed pinless knees ankles here rotates down that far rotates up that far each side sort of rotates by itself so like this front part rotates like that by itself and then the back part rotates by itself so it's like having two separate ankles on each side which is which is pretty cool it helps with the um, posing of the figure all right so now i'm going to take her and put her in my black panther section of my collection so i'll show you that real quick so this is my black panther section of my collection for right now i'm gonna put iron heart or riri williams over here by shuri i just got in the rest of the black panther wakanda forever figures so i'm gonna be doing reviews on the rest of those and adding them to my collection so I'm probably going to have to rearrange this quite a few times. But um, that's what it looks like for right now. I'll put a link to this figure in the description. So if you guys decide you want one, you can click on that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this figure in the comments. And have a great day.